Welcome! Come and play the end of Get the Rain with me. We start off with seeing our grandpa one last time. Will he be able to answer all our questions? My penny! I finally found a use. Is that my granddad? No, it can't be. Grandpa! It's so good to see you, Kathy. You found our shared truth. Well done. Is it really you? You've been here for all this time? It hasn't been that long from my point of view. I've missed you, Grandpa. I wanted to come back so many times. I know you did. I've been watching you every step of the way. I found out how you tried to get me back from Mom and everything. I just wanted you to be safe. I wanted what's best for you. Can I get you out of here somehow? I don't know how all this works. I'm afraid that's not possible. Upon my death, I knew I was finally free. I felt myself pulled away from you. But then I saw you on that screen. I chose to remain until we could meet one last time. What is this horrible place, Grandpa? I feel like I'm dreaming, but I'm not. I don't even know what's real anymore. <sighs> I can only give you my pointless theories, which range from everything between divine punishment and the mindless force of nature. What truly matters is not what it is or where it comes from, but what it does. It takes each of our fears, every source of guilt, and turns them against us. When I came here, I had hubris. I thought I was the one who could beat it. I don't know what it is. I thought I could kill it somehow. Like all those men I butchered in the war. I was wrong. So, it's pointless. We can't stop it? I believe there is a way. The red flowers, Kathy. I've come to understand that they anchor this realm to the real world. When you make it out of here, you need to destroy them. You need to burn them all. If I'm right, this place will be ripped away. What about you? But if I do that, what will happen to you? Don't worry about me. I'll just go where dead people go. There are worse things than dying, kid. <laughs> Believe me. So he is dead. But I just got you back. I can't bear to lose you again. You don't need me, Kathy. You never did. You're stronger than you'll ever know. I'm so proud of the woman you've become. This... this is so unfair. This fucking sucks. I know, darling. I know. We don't have much longer. Remember what I said. And stay strong. I... Grandpa! Alright. Who was that? You can get through this, Kathy. So every time I discover new things and the game is acting like it's explaining more, it's making me more confused. <laughs> because it's not like I, I now understand what's going on. I understand even less. He was dead and now he's alive, but he's not really. This wasn't here before. I know. Can I change the channel? It's the TV remote that Grandpa left behind. Can I meet other people then? Hmm. Is that beneath something? Looks like a crowbar taped on some kind of wooden surface. Beneath wooden surface, but where would that be? Nowhere here, I don't think. Maybe the hallway? Yes. But why would I need a crowbar? Oh, hmm. for the coffin. This desk does look similar to what I saw on the TV. I don't want to open a coffin. That's Found creepy. Found a crowbar taped under there. 
Why do I have to do all this creepy stuff? I don't wanna. Why is there not a happy dimension with flowers and unicorns and happiness? Does that have to be spooky? Let's open it up. Ew. Do you see? I don't want to see. No, I agree. Do <laughs> you see? It's creepy. Yes, kid, I see. Do you know who I am now? I don't like this. I want to go home. You'll never go home. We won't let you. When you threw me away, this place took me in, nurtured me. Do you regret what you did? Alright, well at least this makes sense. No I don't, I've done nothing wrong. I just feel sadness, I took away part of me eliminating a possible future. Part of me does, I wish things could have been different. I just gonna repeat the mistake my parents made, I don't know. Uh, maybe this one? I just feel... sadness. I took away a part of me, eliminating a possible future. Decisions like that can be overwhelming and sad, but they're a part of life. You're just here to test me, it's to back. try and break me. Oh! What's going on? The Red Man. Bravo! Bravo! Is this what gets you off? Tormenting people? Watching them squirm? I think it does. Oh no! Our only delight is watching you burn away the pain and rise from the ashes. And oh, how you have risen, Kathy. If you're so fucking pleased with me, let Eileen go. Right, where's she? <laughs> oh, well, here's a little secret. Eileen Summers was never really in our grasp. Souls of her nature are like greasy little piglets to us. They keep slipping away. We are only concerned with those who truly long for our embrace. People like you, Kathy. Leave me alone. For only what is shattered needs mending. You can fuck off. I'm not some broken thing for you to toy with. <laughs> Whether you accept it or not, you are mended, Kathy. The collapse comes next. The collapse? What are you doing? Hurry now, Mender. The path is clear, but your bubble is about to burst. I have to get out of here, I think. I have to Hurry. get the hell out of here. That's what I said. Hurry! Run! Oh! Shit! It broke! I can't get all the way down. I have to go through the hole after my daddy. So I do have to use the vines. Okay, now what? I can't believe I'm doing this. You have to. Whoops! Hurry! You! You have ruined everything! Why do you hate us so much? What did we ever do to you? I don't even know you, lady. This mirror mirror is getting tiring. You're persistent. You again. I'm getting sick of your bullshit. Uh, yeah, I you do. again. I'm getting sick of your bullshit. And I'm not afraid anymore. I see you for what you are. You are nothing but a fearful little child, and there's nowhere left for you to hide. Get the hell out of my way. Well said. No! You look a bit pale. No! I am the original! I am! This can't be happening! You're evil. Just leave me alone. I'm speechless. That's a first. Now hurry up! Well, here goes nothing.
Alright. Now that's a hard impact. Hmm. What if... The graves can be pushed in like buttons. So this is also a puzzle. We have to push them all? Damn. No. Guess I didn't push the right ones. What came before must come again. What came before must come again. But this is Isaac's grave if I remember right. Or maybe that's not the point at all. So does it need to be a triangle maybe? Like this? A shaft leading down. Go with it. We don't have time to hesitate. Gah! Shit! What did you do? Just a little bit longer, Kathy. You can make it. Hurry up! Do I have to do something? Whoops! Oh, <laughs> I missed up. <laughs> All right. So whichever chain, whoops, hurry up, is moving. That's where a rock will fall. Up, 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 hurry, hurry. Did you make it? Ugh, my head. It's like the worst hangover ever. I need to stay focused. Burn them all, Kathy. Burn them all. Do you have your lighter? Yes, I have all my crap back, yes. Lighter. Do what you do best. It's too humid. The lighter alone won't be able to ignite them. Uh, what do I need then? Paint thinner? That should be enough. That has alcohol in it, I think. Again. There they go. Oh, damn. That's a strong smell. Stay away from it. See? She's hallucinating already. Shit. Should have stayed clear of that smoke. Told ya. Whoops. Uh oh. Ugh. You burnt down the oh, entire fuck. forest. I gotta get out of here. No kidding. And even now she's not running. She's like, la la la. All this fire doesn't matter. Aww. Is this the end of the game? She's waking up. My bike. Oh, thank God. There you are, girl. I sold it. I think I did. I saved everyone. Major forest fire raging in Conwell Woods. The cause of the blaze has yet to be determined. I know it. But the latest reports say that the fire has been successfully contained. Largely thanks to the local lake, which provided ample water for the dowsing efforts. Over to you, Mark. Why is there fire in the background? Oh, then? thank goodness you're all right. You're back. We were worried about you. Oh, thank God! Are you okay, E? I think so, but I feel a bit different. Yeah? You were out for a long time. Do you remember anything? 
I think Isaac drugged me. I started feeling dizzy and weak. He carried me into the woods. I remember hearing the wind in the leaves and the biting cold. There was a weird, sharp smell in the air, too. I'm not sure what happened next. Things are a bit blurry. What a creepo. But I remember this terrifying dream. You know, like one of those fever dreams. Something was chasing me. I kept slipping away, but no matter what I did, it kept coming. Sounds scary. It was. And after that, the next thing I remember is waking up on this couch. Well, I'm glad you're okay, E. Things looked scary there for a bit. Yeah, Mary Elizabeth told me what happened, how you found me and got Isaac arrested. It's Mary Elizabeth. Yes, about that poor man. The sheriff called. Something happened while you were away. Poor man. <gasps> oh. Welcome home, son. All right. Guess he finally grew a conscience. I can't help but feel bad for him, despite what he did to me. In a way, he was a victim too. Really? At how? least we stopped him from hurting any more people. It's locked up. So, I guess this really is goodbye. A stupid part of me thought that if I would find the truth, I could be close to him again. It's not stupid. We all look for love in the strangest of places. It's an inseparable part of human nature. Jeez, when did you become so philosophical, E? I told you, I feel different. Yeah, me too. You know, despite everything, I think we made a half-decent team. Really? You do? Well, except for the part where you got yourself kidnapped. <laughs> Try not to do that next time, okay? Wait, there will be a next time? Yeah, will that be? The end. I finished the game. That is the end of Cathy Rain, the director's cut. Thank you so much for watching. I enjoyed playing this game, but to be honest, it could have been a bit quicker for me and more to the point. I have so many questions that are still unanswered. Like, how did Grandpa die? Did he die in real life or did I hallucinate the other dimension and seeing him again? What are the lights? Did we hallucinate those two? Are they spirits? Are they good? Are they bad? What are they even supposed to do? Guide people? I don't know. What happened to Eileen? Did she just faint? She said something was pulling at her, but what? And also the Redman says, I need to go down the hall to save Eileen, but later he says she was never even there. But she did sign the book. So that does not seem right, does it? Who or what is that weird red eye symbol with those weird symbols around it? That was never explained. And who is the red man really and what does he do besides speak cryptically? I'm supposed to be a mender, but what does a mender even do? Does that mean that I'm going on some kind of healing process? I don't know. And I know it's not important for the story, but I have this thing where when I see something locked, I want to open it. So what's in that locked cabinet in the priest's office? I want to know. <laughs> I've been trying to open it a couple of times, but alas, that was not in the game. And most important, and finally my last question, is my friend the bum okay? <laughs> I'm just kidding. But we never really saw him again, so, and I kind of liked him, he was a funny character. So in conclusion, did I hallucinate everything because I smelled those flowers and then I burned them and me and everyone else was okay and it was basically just a story about recovering from traumas in life, so it was like symbolic? I don't know, maybe that's the point of the game though, that you don't really understand, could be. Anyway, thanks again for watching. I am currently posting Siberia the world before and now that this game is finished I will post another Nancy Drew. So if you like that, stay tuned. Bye bye. Did you like this video? Check out my other videos on my page, follow me go and don't forget to subscribe.